hello everyone uh, welcome again in our series of azure devops learning so in today's short video i am going to share how we can do the capacity planning using azure devops so i am sharing a scrum project 2023 which i have been set up uh, in azure devops labs so this is a sample project which we will use for uh, this series and uh, our learnings in azure devops so what i have done is if we see the left navigation we can click on the overview and we get uh, some details about the scrum project 2023 now in order to do the capacity planning which we do you know when we uh, meet with the team for the sprint planning uh, so some of the teams they do the capacity driven planning which is a good indication that understand the team's capacity and then understand how much work we have pulled and see that whether we are over committed whether we are under committed whether we have pulled the right amount of work in our sprint backlog during the planning so that's the whole purpose of you know capacity driven planning so what we have to do for that is uh, if we see the boards here if you bring the mouse and then click on the sprints so this opens the sprints view and we can just expand the left navigation so this gives us an expanded view so this is uh, one of the sprint which i have just made it start from today which is 28th of march and it will end on 10th of april so this is basically a two weeks of a sprint and we can see we have uh, two user stories and uh, initial six tasks in this sprint too now in order to do the capacity planning uh, what we have to do is we have to add our team members in the azure board and if we click on the capacity so this is where we will do the capacity planning so the admin uh, which is me I, I mean this person is already been added because this part this person or the admin user he is part of this project is part of this team so there are some couple of ways one way we can add the members is we can click on add users and we can say like i know like this is one of the person and we can say you know add user so this has been you know all these team members they have been given access in the project configuration uh, by the admin now since the members have access now what we have to do is we have to add them in under the capacity plan so one way is to find each of the member by the name or by the email id and then uh, you know like i showed for this one anil.gupta we can you know add it other way is if i simply click on undo so that user is gone other way is to click on the these three dots which are more commands and we can say add all team members so whoever has access to this particular project to this particular team they have been added so these four members are the initial members who have been added as part of this project team so we will have to see the scrum master has to see whether this list is complete whether we have left any member so just you know for uh, you know our understanding purpose for this training video purpose we can assume like this team consists of like four initial members now what we have to do is we have to give them their initial capacity per day that means you know how much uh, this particular member can work in a day okay so even if you consider like eight hours some of the some of the organization they consider nine hours so let's say uh, without any interruptions this person can work like six hours per day so i am going to keep the same capacity for each of the member okay so what we are saying is like you know all these four members they work like six hours on a daily basis on the sprint backlog or the tasks of the sprint so a couple of hours in a day like you know if we consider eight hours a day i mean we have given them the buffer it is for the meeting it's for let's say some other priority work or some other support task you know which these members may, may be involved in and this is up to the team i mean this is not as recommendation from the scrum that you know this is how you calculate or define your capacity this all depends upon you know team like how is their work i mean how is their project how is their complexity how much uh, dedicatedly a member can work on the project task whether they are also involved in some support activities some ticketing some priority uh, issues or you know some product application support so it all depends upon that so for our example purpose we have set like six hours as a daily capacity now let's say this person uh, anil gupta is taking some day off maybe one day off and that day off is like let's say 30th of march so that we can define here Okay. so this person is taking one day off if there are any holidays which is applicable for all these members so what we have to do is we can click on the team days off so let's say in april 
uh, 3rd April is kind of a holiday for this particular team. So this is how we can define this thing. Okay, so I mean in order to do, do the capacity planning uh, as part of the sprint planning, this is what we have to do. We have to add our team members. We have to define their capacity on a per day basis, like how many hours these members can work. And it is not necessary that all members will have the same capacity defined. I mean, it, it is quite possible, let's say this guy Rajiv, he is, uh, you know, working like five hours uh, based on the capacity because he has some other work, you know, uh, for, for the for the day and then you know each members leaves can be defined here the team's holiday can be defined here so if i click on save this capacity plan gets saved so we can just simply see it i mean we clicked on backlog this is our backlog if we see the capacity we see it this way right now if we go to the analytic and we say show remaining capacity at the start of the day Okay, so it is showing us, you know, how much capacity we have defined when we started this sprint. So it is showing remaining capacity as 210 and this is in hours. Okay, so we can see that, you know, uh, since we have defined six hours uh, per day for this particular member and we have 10 days. So it is like 60 here and then we have 60 here 120 so we can say 180 here so basically it calculates the it, it divides it into uh you know it, it's basically multiplication of hours into days for each of the member right and then one day is off okay so overall it comes to uh, like uh, since one day is off for the team so it's nine working days okay so we have like 54 for this guy 54 for this guy and 54 for this guy and since this guy is having so i mean if i have to show you we can simply click on excel and uh, 54 into 3 162 and then we have for one of the member because one day is less so it comes to 210 right so this 210 is what exactly has been shown here as the capacity of this team so when this team is meeting for the planning and they are you know pulling the stories they are doing the task estimation they have to ensure that you know they uh, take the necessary amount of work which is more or less similar to under 210 hours i mean it's not exactly needs to be same i mean 220 2015 hours it's all depends upon you know how the team feels about it so this gives them an indication that you know if this team understand their capacity is 210 hours obviously they are not going to you know commit for the work which is like 300 hours or 250 hours or 400 hours so this is basically to assist them in the planning so that's all about uh, today's video i hope you guys liked it and uh, please share this uh, video with, um, with others as well i mean we can we can grow uh, together and uh, thank you thanks everyone thanks thank you for watching